السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين حمد يليك بجلاله وكماله سبحانه وتعالى لعن حمد في الأولى والآخر وهو على كل شيء قدير أما بعد My dear brothers and sisters in Islam and Iman and my brothers and sisters in humanity Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh We are very fortunate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us to be able to fast during the month of Ramadan Ramadan is a time for us to self-reflect upon the goodness and the righteousness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us during this blessed month of Ramadan uh, Throughout the 12 months that we have the month of Ramadan is the special month in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has opened the doors of mercy and closed the doors of hellfire. It is this month in which the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was the most generous in giving. The hadith says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was more generous just like the blowing wind. This is how quickly the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa would give charity. During the month of Ramadan, we are also encouraged to refrain from uh, bad words, from uh, arrogant wording, or even from disobeying one another. And these are just the teachings of Ramadan that we learn. And this entire framework that we uh, read from the lives of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in terms of how we should adopt in Ramadan, uh, we can take so much. Part of what we learn from Ramadan is uh, if you think about it, the importance of environment uh, during the month of Ramadan. We are taught again uh, from the tradition of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that a companion came to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he asked him, what can I do in memory of my mother uh, who passed away? The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says to the companion, build a water well uh, in the name of your mother. And the reason why the Prophet ﷺ mentioned that was at that time there was a drought in Medina and the Prophet ﷺ said that the best thing for you not just for your mother would also uh, but for the community that's suffering from the drought would be to build a water well and then uh, the companion built this water well in honor of his uh, mother and that water well is called Bain Umay Saad uh, which is still in existence now you see, this was the foresight of the Prophet ﷺ in terms of preserving society, preserving uh, the environment that we live in. Uh, during the time of, of Ramadan, brothers and sisters are refrained from eating, from drinking. Uh, we kind of select a very healthy diet, uh, eating less to ensure that we have a very productive and healthy life as well. And this is something that Islam also encourages uh, to do. Uh, part of the importance of uh, Ramadan is the importance of wealth sustenance. We are taught uh, in this month of Ramadan to give 2.5% of what we earn uh, in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help the poor and needy. And this sustenance that we have, uh, that Allah has given us, when we give it in the form of charity, that sustenance, according to Islamic tradition, is purified. And that's what zakat means. Zakat comes from the root letter zaka. Zaka means purification. So when we have risk, we give it in the form of charity so that our risk becomes purified. And this is the entire process that we uh, obtain or we have been given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the month of Ramadan does not just teach us about self-reflection or spiritual awareness, but it also talks about the importance of uh, protecting our society, protecting environment. Also, it talks about the importance of risk uh, provisions that we have in our lives. So uh, one of the lessons that we can uh, learn about the month of Ramadan as we come to its end is the celebration of Eid al-Fitr. Eid is a ending or marking the end of Ramadan when we get together, we, we have feasts, we enjoy and celebrate and, and re, recall the, the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as you sit together during the month, uh, uh, during Eid al-Fitr, it is also a time for you to think of the poor and needy people around the world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all 
the opportunity to really be able to understand the true message of Islam, the true message of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and be able to act upon the lessons and life learned from the month of Ramadan.